Welcome everyone, I am Dr. Charles and today I shall introduce you to veterinary protozoology which is a branch of veterinary parasitology. By the end of the session you should be able to define protozoa and protozoology, recall their stages, how they feed and reproduce, classify the major subphyla and classes of protozoa that parasitize animals based on locomotion and give named examples of parasitic protozoa from each class mentioned. So what are protozoa then? Originated from Greek terminology, proto meaning first and zoa meaning animals, they were thought to be the first animals. They are microscopic, single-celled, eukaryotic organisms. So now we know what protozoa are. Then what is protozoology? This is the study of protozoa. And in this lesson, we shall be looking at the parasitic protozoa. Most protozoa possess two stages, the trophozoite stage and the cyst stage. In the trophozoite stage, we can see that this is the growing, feeding, and motor stage, whereas the cyst stage is the infective stage. The cyst stage is protected from the harsh environment by a tough capsule. Protozoa feed by ingesting organic material in solid or liquid form. Solid form by phagocytosis, which is also known as cell eating, or liquid form by pinocytosis or cell drinking. They have the ability to reproduce by asexual or sexual reproduction. Here we can see that asexual reproduction can occur by budding or by norefusion. And in this picture here on the left, the mother parasite divides by binary fusion to, pr pr to produce two daughter parasites. While sexual reproduction occurs by fusion of the male and the female gametes by a process called fertilization. Male and female gametes are formed in a process known as gametogony or sporogony. Some protozoa possess very complex life cycles with both sexual and asexual stages in different hosts, while others require only one host. Protozoa have been traditionally classified based on morphology and means of locomotion. Today we shall focus on locomotion. And here is a picture showing some of the well-known protozoan parasites that we may see in animals and the humans. Methods of locomotion include the use of flagella, cilia, pseudopodia, and gliding. We shall Look a bit closer at each method. So the first method, flagella, which is plural, and flagellum, singular. Flagella are long hairs that arise from a basal body. They may be single or several, as can be seen in this parasite on the right of the screen. Examples are of parasites with Flagella are Giardia, Leishmania, Histomonas, and Trichomonas. Cilia, however, are fine, short hairs that cover most of the body surface of the parasite and usually beat in unison to facilitate locomotion. And we can see it in the parasite here on the right of the screen. And this parasite is Valentidium. Pseudopodia, or false feet is the third form of locomotion. An example is the amoeboid parasite, Entamoeba. Here we can see the finger-like projections accessing food for this parasite. And lastly, gliding. It does not involve any structures for movement. And here we can see a parasite in a white blood cell of an animal. Some examples are Toxoplasma, Gondii and Plasmodium. 
This diagram seeks to simplify the classification of a parasitic protozoan. There are four subphyla under the phylum protozoa. They are Sarcomastigophora, Sporozoa, Ciliophora, and Microspora. The Sarcomastigophora is divided into two classes, Sarcodina and Mastigophora, while Sporozoa is divided into three classes, Coccidia, Pyroplasmidia, and Hemosporidia. There are no classes for, micro, for Microspora or Ciliophora. This diagram shows an addition to the first one in the previous slide. We can now see here that each class is divided based on locomotion. The class Sarcodina, for example, uses Pseudopodia, while Mastigophora uses Flagella. The classes Coccidia, Pyroplasmidia, and Hemosporidia use gliding for locomotion, while Ciliophora uses Cilia and Microspora uses none. This third diagram now integrates the genus of different examples of parasites under each class and the subphylum. Here you can see that Sarcodina, an example of a parasite, is Entomoeba. Under Mastigophora, these are the parasites that move by flagella. Some examples are Trypanosoma, Leishmania, Trichomonas, Histomonas, Hexaminta, and Giardia. Some examples of coccidian parasites are Imeria, Isospora, Cryptosporidium, Toxoplasma, Neospora, just to name a few. The pyroplasms or pyroplasmidia include Babesia and Tyleria. The Hemosporidia include Plasmodium, Hemoproteus, Leucocytosome, while Ciliophora has one parasite of veterinary importance, Valentidium, and Microspora has Encephalitosome. So I will give you a moment to look at this diagram and take it all in. Remember, the Sarcodina parasite, they move by amoeba or pseudo, by amoeboid movement or pseudopodia. The Mastigophora, they move by flagella. Coccidia, pyroplasmidia, hemosporidia move by gliding. Ciliophora moves by cilia and microspora does not move. This brings us to the end of the session. So by now, you should be able to define protozoa and protozoology, recall their stages, how they feed and reproduce, classify the major subphyla and classes of protozoa that parasitize animals based on locomotion, and lastly, give named examples of parasitic protozoa from each class mentioned. You can get further reading by looking at my lecture notes on my e-learning. I have also placed a link that you can also access. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. I thank you.